What up everybody? Uh, sorry about last week's video. We were supposed to install this in the big red, but uh, yeah, some stuff happened. I will explain that at the end, but right now, jump into the intro. When we get back, I'll show you what we're doing today. Oh yeah, start the day. Let's get on it. Okay, so again, I'll get back to what we're doing. Uh, we're working on the Passat today. Uh, hopefully it's probably not too dark. Can't see it, but we'll step outside here in a little bit. But here's what we got for the Passat. Yeah. I already opened it up just to kind of check a couple pieces. But we have got some more tail lights for the Passat. Because I keep getting an error code for this one right here. And that dude is was eighty dollars. So instead of just buying one, I went ahead and bought all four, all four of them, for about almost two hundred dollars. Uh, so we'll, we're gonna get in and install them, and uh, yeah, hopefully we have some new smoke tail lights for the side. Okay, hopefully. Sorry for the wind. Hopefully you can see this. We got the new tail light set up compared to the old ones it's just uh, the outside ring smoked yeah so hopefully it's gonna be easy but over here and this little hole is kind of dark and there's three screws they should be a 10 millimeter and that's it and then on this side i haven't pulled it off yet but you gotta pull this little panel off and then on top there's two screws and you gotta pull this little panel off Kind of hard to do one handed. There we go. And we can get to that one. And then, yeah. So let's see if we can get this uh, set up. And it's not too dark. And uh, see if we can get, to, get these in. Yeah, buddy. There's one screw. Gonna probably need a swivel. All right, well, we got this one out. This way I can show you the connector. All you gotta do is just pull up on that and pull out. I do have an extra wire for mine because that's for my reverse camera that I got installed the other day. Yeah, because I did do a radio on this and did not record it. But I'll let y'all do an update here pretty soon. And yeah, let's get back to installing these lights. Okay, now when you're doing these inner ones, the best way to get this connector off, hopefully you can see this, is take a pair of needle nose. Let's see what we go out here. Ow. A pair of needle nose and just squeeze these together and pop it out. Now on this light, I'm like this one. This one's an LED, but this one's not. So you will need to keep the bulb with your new light. And put it back in. All right, let's get it back in. All right, so we got one side done. Hopefully you can see that. About to start working on the other side. I'm liking the way that looks compared to what it used to look like. Okay, so we got one light left to do right here. I did want to say a few things. When you're tightening these down, these are just in plastic housing. Even though I know they run up to this little nut, don't over tighten them. When they when they stop, just a barely grunt, you know, and you'll be done. Now, uh, here's a glimpse of what we'll be talking about here in a minute. So we're gonna get this last one put in and uh, see what they look like because uh, I'm loving them so far.
Okay, so we got them all in. We got the old one sitting here. Now the only three tools I typically use was mostly I use the 10 millimeter wrench, a pair of needle nose pliers to get the these connectors off. These were just the push ones and a 10 millimeter socket, but my socket wasn't long enough and it was easier to just use the wrench. So let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Again, hopefully you can see that. So let's go into story time now. All right, it's a little time for some story time. Last week I was supposed to be putting in an FM transmitter and the big red, but I started that video and I'm gonna show you a few clips of it, what happened. Um, and then I turned the camera off and then forgot to turn it back on. Big red does have a new radio, but not what I wanted. Uh, it doesn't have the stock radio no more because when I slid the pins in to unlock the radio to slide the radio out, uh, I actually slid the whole faceplate off and left the radio unit in there, which is in the back of the Passat, which are kind of glimpsed. So here's what the radio looks like right now. Yeah. Uh, so I wasn't able to put the FM transmitter in Big Red. Ended up having to go down to the local stereo shop and have them put a new radio and got one with Bluetooth and USB and oh it's okay but we are not getting rid of the FM transmitter I have a buddy that has an old pickup doesn't want to change out the dash to put a new radio in so we're thinking about putting the FM transmitter in there to at least test it out so hopefully next video or two we'll get that done and when me and him can schedule up and yeah that's kind of what happened last week and it was also April 13th on the Thursday or April 16th not 13th 16th and it was my birthday so yes I didn't want to do anything and it's been really hard to get down to the shop with the, all this quarantine going on and so I just I'm mostly staying home it's been hard to make videos so that's another reason why but hopefully we'll get something going on i just got more parts finally in for the volkswagen beetle and the weather's starting to look nice so we can roll it outside starting getting it sanded down get ready for paint so we can start putting it back together because i got the motor almost done we got plugs wires for it finally uh i got to redo the fuel line on it uh and we'll hopefully get it started up and running good i uh, watched a couple videos on how to adjust the carburetor and uh yeah so Remember to comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I hope to see you every Thursday. And again, I'm sorry about last week, so if you're still watching right now, that means you're interested, and let's, let's keep this going. So I'll see you again. Bye.